Hello everyone, welcome to anubavtrainings.com. In this video tutorial on SAP Analytics Cloud, we will look at how to work with tables and also the refresh option for the table controls in your stories. So let's get started. We have already created a demo model with the Netflix movies and TV shows data and we are going to create now a table quickly on top of it and then we will go ahead and look at the refresh option for the table. So let me switch over to our SAP Analytics Cloud and we will quickly go ahead and add a quick table over here. So you can see here we can add a table and when you're adding this table also keep it in mind that you can link it with the right model. So let me also show you the model which I've already created. It's a acquired data model of type analytical. There are other types of models in SAP Analytics Cloud, for example, planning and the live data models. If you want a detailed training on SAP Analytics Cloud, feel free to subscribe our course on anubavtrainings.com. So now coming back, so this is our data set, what we have, and I've already created this model with only one measure in it, which is the count. And what I will now do is go ahead and add quickly the columns. So we can always go ahead and change the model over here. So you can see this change option and I can always go ahead and select my model from the available data models which are there in the system. So maybe I can just quickly select one, say OK. And now it's time that we go ahead and add our rows. So I'll click on rows and I wanted to add the title of the movie and the TV show, the type. Is it a show or a movie? And then I would also want to go ahead and add quickly uh, maybe the description of the TV show. So let's add a description. Yeah, nice. We can click on OK and you can see how beautiful our table looks like over here. So mainly tables are used for reporting purpose in a, your classical uh, BI or BW reporting where you consume a BACS query to show the reports. Uh, similarly here we can also use the tables for the similar kind of purpose. Now what I wanted to do is I want to update this table with the with instead of the number or the rating. But currently if you go and observe our data set in the model which is the rating is actually treated as an attribute or a dimension rather than as a measure. So we need to now change this in our model and for that we have to just go for rebuild of the model. And let's proceed with model rebuilding wherein now I'm going to convert my uh, my column from a dimension to a to a measure. So let's go ahead and select our rating column and switch this over to a measure and let's rebuild the model. So once you rebuild the model, the data set changes will not immediately reflect to your data table. And that's what I'm going to explore and show it to you now. Since now we have changed this uh, with adding a new measure, ideally the measure should be visible for you to be added as part of your table, but that won't happen immediately. So let me go ahead and show you that. So let the model building gets over and then we will switch over back to our tab one where we have created our table control. So I hope this is now almost done. Yes, you can switch it over and let's look at here um, the measures, measure filter for account measure and you can see still my measure which is uh, for the rating is not yet available. The reason is pretty straightforward that your model changes are not yet reflected in your story. So what you can do is go to more option and there's an option called refresh and say refresh please. So let's refresh it over and now the rebinding takes place with your model for all the controls and once again we can go back to the account and voila you can see our rating measure is now available. We can click on OK and you can see the rating is now being pretty visible to us for every of the item. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this session on creating the table in SAP Analytics Cloud and also acquiring the data in the table from the model along with changes and refresh reflection in your data tables. For more tutorials, please subscribe this channel and give a thumbs up. Do let me know if you want me to create more tutorials on certain topics on Analytics Cloud and feel free to subscribe our SAP Analytics Cloud course, which is an all-in-one module 
for learning all the features and capabilities of SAP Analytics Cloud. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.